Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Taken off on the Z today. Um, pretty crazy start to this morning. Daniel took off earlier this morning, um, heading into work or whatever. Called me about like 10 minutes later saying that his like spark plug randomly snapped on the Honda Elite. My original plan was to mob over there as fast as I can, trying to help him out, but it looks like that our other buddy uh, ended up skitching him to work, so he was just hanging on the side of his car. But in my backpack, I got a new spark plug and um, the spark plug wire, coil thing, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, my plan is to come home and work on my scooter so that I can ride it later. Because right now I completely, completely took that thing apart last night, back down to the frame, because I plan on doing a couple little things to it. Yo, oh, yeah, pull out right in front of me. Good job, good job, good job. I'm probably way too hard on this thing, because I literally like shift red line every gear, but there's like no other way to ride this thing. That's the only way you're gonna get any like speed out of it, and it's just, that's the funnest part. <laughs> it's like a little dirt bike jump. Get better at wheelies on this thing. There we go. All right. Well, we got some crazy stuff going on right now, so we're going to pick up a couple more things. If you guys want to um, check those out, you'll have to wait until the future videos. But uh, that's what's planned for today. And then I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to work on my scooter again, and hopefully get some little stuff figured out for what I'm going to do to that thing. So. Trying to get a little bit more comfortable with the Z wheelies. I'm only doing them in first gear right now. I'm just doing a little power wheelies, but uh, once I get a little bit more used to the rear uh, foot brake, I'll start doing a little clutch wheelies in second gear, stuff like that. So. Obnoxiously riding my moped the other day and jumping it as if it was a dirt bike. Basically everything's broken on it. I got all these plastics unaligned, nothing's like, none of the zip ties are working no more. My exhaust, like, I think I either bent my uh, thing down here or cracked it or the bolt's loose. A lot, like this thing's all wiggly. Um, just basically any piece of plastic is just falling off at this point. It's time to take all my plastics off again, yet again, strip the moped down. I don't really mind. It's simple. Come in here, get everything out of the way. We're going to get this thing fixed, get it back on the road again. Cause this thing's getting clapped out. Every time I ride this thing, I beat the shit out of it, but it's all right. Cause it's all fun. I'm also, while I have all this apart, I'm going to find a way to like gusset my frame or reinforce it because lately it's been feeling pretty sketchy up front. I kind of want to stiffen that up. So just a few little things I want to do to the scooter. So I'll get it all taken apart now and uh, get everything out of the way so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. It's every time I take the scooter apart, it's basically just 100 zip ties. So. Oh my gosh. No. What in the hell is that? Wait, He's riding it push. backwards? Oh my god, that's gonna be you. Why would he keep going if he's that high in a wheelie? But I restarted it. Watch the next one. How can that Why is he riding it backwards? The thing's nuts looking. Taiwan. Oh my god. Yeah, foreign countries are all about their scooters. Also, I even broke my seat from how hard I landed the other day on jumping this thing with my ass. I snapped the welds on my seat, so. We gotta go in here, get everything out of the way. It's time It's time to freshen this thing up again. I also wanna go in and change my bars and do custom handlebars. I wanna like from here, <laughs> weld my own thing and get rid of the back sweep because I kinda don't like how these bars bend back. I kinda want more of like a, a straight bar feel like this. I'm glad that I can easily take this thing apart because if it was a pain to take apart out of how many times I break it, I would probably hate working on this thing, but stripping it down. Pretty simple, so I don't mind. I just need to figure out a way I'm gonna gusset this and strengthen the front end. Also, I need a weld here, and I need a new gas tank because my gas tank constantly leaks. So, a few things I'm gonna figure out, and then I'm gonna come back and then start to get to work on this thing. Starting to get back to work on my scooter, I wanted to do a little, a couple things to remodel it. I was calling around trying to see if anyone had 7 8 metal so I can make my own custom handlebars. No one seems to have any. I think I'm gonna go a different route for now. So I came up with an idea in the meantime because I don't want to wait any longer and I really don't want to have this thing out of service for too long. And I kind of want to start on the new Elite build. There's these Grom handlebars I had and weld my own crossbar because I was tired of this one like dinging and doing all this shit. So 
And then I'm just going to weld that right there. Weld my own crossbar across on these ones. And then for down here to make my own like support because the problem is that I'm feeling is like this area is flexing when I come down from wheelies and stuff like that. And I'm going to take these handlebars and uh, weld from here to here making that support and then also um, a few pieces from like here to there and then so forth on the other side as well. Just kind of adding some more support in that area because I really don't I want to prevent all the flex I can. And then also I'm probably going to grab some sheet metal and just uh, run across this floorboard. Uh, weld this seat in and then that's pretty much it. Daniel's already starting to tear apart his uh, street bike that he bought the other day. Um, I just took my seat off. This is what the under of my seat looks like for anyone who wonders because I took out the whole bucket and I made my own. It's actually just a, a bike rack from a moped and it's like screwed in up here and then I welded it to like the old mount that like uh, goes to your trunk and then that bolts into my uh, gas tank area. I plan on doing a different gas tank because this one always leaks no matter what, like the fuel cap just doesn't seal and I wanted to do like a, my own one gallon gas tank but I'm not going to do that right now so to make my seat removable it just unbolts from here and then I had 90 brackets that went here and then into the top of this but they snapped so I think I'm just going to throw a couple tacks on there for now which means next time I want to take my seat off I'll have to cut it or something um, which won't be until I uh, do this gas tank thing this is going from my center of like the main support on the frame like that huge round tube that goes to your kickstand all of that and that's going to this upper part. Now I'm gonna go to this upper part right here, um, which is like, I guess you can call it the floorboard. I'm gonna go straight to the head tube from that. So I just cut these and it's like a little, the pieces of my handlebars off my groms. That curve and then uh, same thing on the other side. So boom, to there. And that's gonna hopefully strengthen my front end both from the sides from when I tilt and from the front to the back. So hopefully that's gonna strengthen up. I'm gonna go ahead and weld these in now. beyond stoked of how this turned out so far. I got my gusset from center frame to here and these ones in here. These ones literally look stock how they are. Like, I'm super stoked on that. And then I also just cut this piece out for a crossbar. I just gotta trim it down a little bit more, but weld that in right there. And then I'm gonna have my crossbar welded instead of that. Like, last time I had it um, a bolt on one, but it was kind of shitty. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this one in. Too Fast Tau Tau 3.0 just came out, man. I got this crossbar welded in. It looks fucking amazing. Got this welded in. I had to fill some gaps right here, but it still came out pretty good. Put your head down, like lay down there. Well, as you can tell, Daniel got his street bike started that he bought yesterday, a $200 street bike. We started with no light, no fuel, and no um, spark. And we got all three now. Now it's running. Hot wire to shit because there's no key. So now Daniel is a street bike guru. I plan on completely stripping my scooter today. It's ironic because I just spent all yesterday like welding all this in and I purposely avoided all the wires because I didn't want to take it apart. But then I, I realized I kind of want to paint this thing. So it looks like I'm going to drop my motor and uh, undo literally everything today and take it all apart so I can paint this thing. All right, well, I got my complete harness pulled out for this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and fix this up while I have it out. There's not even anything to it, really. It's only like this one thing is the stock harness. The rest is just my underglow, just uh, regular wires and for my switches and my headlights and stuff like that. The only thing you have to do with the 150 swap is like you change the clip. I just have it where this plugs into my harness now. Before it used to be a clip, but it's a four prong clip and it's only three out of the motor. So you have to like either convert it or cut it or do whatever, but. It's a different, it was a different style clip, so it didn't fit. I can't tell if my forks are always like, like this bent, 
or is that from me? But they look pretty fucking bent, that's for sure. Well, here she is, completely taken apart. I can't believe I actually just welded all that stuff in yesterday when I could have done it like this when it was just the frame, but it is what it is. I plan on, I have, I have some sheet metal right here that I plan on using to uh, make kind of a platform for my feet. I'm gonna cut it and weld it into here as well as cut it up here and uh, do some fancy shit and make it wrap around up there. Many videos to come on this Tau Tau build. Can't wait to rebuild it back up. It's always so fun and like refreshing to um, rebuild it and everything like that. Comment a color you want to see me paint it below. Um, I might, I'm thinking like maybe like a gray, like a cement gray, um, and then do red accessories, something like that. But comment what you guys want to see below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, grab yourself a t-shirt in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.